In our push for cleaner and more efficient forms of energy, nuclear power has emerged as a viable alternative. But how clean is it? The purpose of this video is not to take a stance on this very controversial topic, but rather to educate the audience and to provoke debate. Nuclear power is important to generating world electricity. The average nuclear power plant generates about 12.3 billion kilowatt hours, with hundreds of reactors supplying 6.3% of the world's total power. France, most heavily invested in nuclear power, derives 79% of its electricity from it. Even though those reactor towers are intimidating, this technique is essentially greenhouse gas emission free, compared to coal, oil, and natural gas. Nuclear power produces pretty much no greenhouse gases, important in a time when climate change is a critical issue. Nuclear power is efficient, but many contest its viability. The production of radioactive pollutants has sparked intense debate in the global community. When considering nuclear power, the necessity of protecting human populations and the environment from radioactive materials cannot be overemphasized. But how does nuclear power work? The process is fairly complicated, but the basic principles are simple enough. You put a large amount of uranium-235 in a nuclear reactor. The reaction is started by driving a neutron into the nucleus of one uranium-235 atom. This causes the atoms to split, releasing energy, which is used to heat water and turn a turbine, creating even more energy. The remains of this process lead to some highly unstable and radioactive products. For example, cesium-137 and selenium-79, which doesn't fully decompose for hundreds of thousands of years. This is considered high-level waste, the direct byproducts of the nuclear reactions. Each year, an average nuclear reactor produces around 25 tons of this used fuel. By the year 2035, it is estimated that the U.S. will have over 119,000 tons of this highly radioactive material. High-level waste accounts for only 3% of the volume of all radioactive waste, but it represents 95% of all the radioactivity. When this waste is removed from the reactor, it releases high levels of ionizing radiation, and it also releases lots of heat. This material is incredibly dangerous. A person standing about a meter from this waste could potentially receive a lethal dose of radiation in minutes. Much of this waste rapidly decomposes, Yet some of the longer lasting isotopes can be dangerous for millennia. So what do we do with this waste? First, it is temporarily stored for periods of up to 100 years in order to allow it to cool and to decrease in radioactivity. This storage initially takes place in water-filled containment pools so that the cooling can occur. This method is dangerous. In the US alone, there have been several accidents that led to containment pools leaking and transferring dangerous radioactive materials to the environment. The fuel is then transferred to dry cask storage steel drums filled with concrete and inert gases, then bolted and welded shut. This is temporary storage. The ionizing radiation released from the waste is incredibly dangerous. Cells experience DNA damage from the radiation, possibly leading to cancers and several other damaging conditions. The radioactive water released from the pools can affect local wildlife. Irradiated areas often do not return to their original state. After the 1986 Chernobyl incident, the areas surrounding the plant became uninhabitable. The controversy over nuclear power involves the complications surrounding nuclear waste disposal. High-level waste disposal requires both temporary and long-term storage methods in order to handle these long-lived isotopes. However, Long-term storage methods do not really exist at this point. Since nuclear power is a relatively new source of energy, the first nuclear plant opened in 1954, most fuel is in the temporary storage stage. Countries are working on long-term storage facilities, and the most promising method involves burying the nuclear waste deep underground. In the United States, the most notable proposal under construction is the Yucca Mountain Waste Repository in Nevada. However, the project was terminated. The state's residents argued that it is unfair to store the whole country's waste in their state, especially because they do not have any nuclear plants. Concerned residents and environmentalists also argue that earthquakes or other natural disasters could lead to this material being released into the environment. If that happens, it could be disastrous to the local environment and to the people and other species that live there. In general, 
Plants in the United States and their governmental regulators are very stringent in nuclear disposal methods and in making sure this radioactive material is away from us. However, it is worrisome to not know where this waste is going. With no final plan, large amounts of very dangerous waste will just be sitting in storage methods meant to be temporary. In light of all the information, we ask again, is it worth it?